Hi, good morning. Hi, good morning, and welcome to today's products in focus. US 30 there has uh, come down slightly overnight following uh, Friday's doji formation. We had another negative day yesterday, just closing on potential support at 17,738. As news is filtering out this morning that um, the European leaders are uh, preparing for a potential Greek exit, and uh, we've seen more unrest out in Ukraine as well as the conflict over there seems to intensify. Most markets, however, are actually moving sideways. Uh, gold in particular, US 30 is very. Um, flat and so is the Germany 30. Um, but nevertheless, we are trading both, both moving averages. Uh, the MACD is going neutral as are most of the other technical indicators on the US 30. So if we move on to the UK 100, um, negative, I have a hammer formation yesterday, so a bounce off 67.71. Another negative day at the moment, currently a bearish engulfing pattern should that continue on and we're trading already currently at the low of the day. Moving on to Japan 225, um, managing to have a little bit of a positive day, negative day yesterday, negative crossover on the MACD. Uh, you do actually have a golden cross on the moving averages right there. But as we come quite close, the potential support still remains at 17,496. Uh, and the uh, dollar yen had reversed course yesterday, so we saw a little bit of yen buying as people were buying a little bit of safe haven uh, protection. Um, but the US dollar is not going away, uh, following on from non pound payrolls on Friday. Uh, but we're not seeing any um, excessive moves on the greenback currently. Um, but that dollar yen uh, FX pair will be driving the potential growth of Japan 225. And as you can see, we've hit a barrier there around about 119 yen. Uh, other technical indicators are, are relatively neutral. Um, so it needs another catalyst, some more macroeconomic data or stimulus to get it over the line. So moving on to Crew West Texas, um, getting closer to around about $54.85. Um, I did see a report yesterday that City Bank seems to think that West Texas could get down to $20 a barrel. There was a report out on Monday um, afternoon um, that there was a belief that the existing oil producing countries and, and OPEC and uh, the non-OPEC uh, regions uh, would keep their production relatively stable if not slightly less so they're kind of indicating that there's going to be a little bit uh, less supply there but then there was another um, report coming out about the state of the US shale gas and uh, shale energy sector which said it's still expected to grow uh, one of the big energy growth stories still uh, from that part of the world up and all the way till, till 2020 based on projections so there could still be uh, pressure in regards to uh, potential supply in the future but West Texas has, has not reacted to um, too much to either side of those stories uh, that came out yesterday. So moving on to gold, gold's done absolutely nothing the last couple of days looking at from an intraday standpoint. Uh, on the candle uh, stick chart we are slowly moving up, long legged candles are indicative of, of selling interest. Each time it goes up it gets pushed back down but it is making progress but 1242 is the next potential uh, resistance level that gold needs to overcome and certainly in the backdrop of stronger USD and rising interest rates in the US the fundamentals are not in its favour. So looking at euro dollar, um, again relatively flat, we need to get more information about what's happening with Greece and the impact of Greece if there was a Greek exit. It might just be a little bit of scaremongering by the European leaders to try and threaten the Greek government um, to uh, various repercussions should they not play ball. Um, and obviously you do have the Ukraine conflict escalating as Russian back separatists apparently are making gains in the region uh, with Obama considering to send lethal uh, aid to the um, Ukrainian government to help them battle against Russian tanks and missiles uh, and that's obviously causing a little bit of issue in that side of the world but the euro is not uh, excessively pressured albeit it has been, has been quite flat so has cable incidentally so not much to report in regards to main technical levels one spot 1642 remains resistance one spot 0786 remains potential support that's a longer term potential support should the greenback accelerate and the euro take a back seat so finishing up with GBP USD, um, again not really doing a huge amount. One spot 51.85 seems to be a potential pivot level for traders to be aware of. Springboard to move higher or a broken support to accelerate to the downside towards 1.4813. But let's have a think about the uh, economic data. We mentioned there's not really much out today. There isn't much out tomorrow. You've got crude oil inventories, that's crude oil Wednesday as ever. The last couple of days that's come out. That figure has been much higher than expected and crude has taken a bit of a tumble. Let's see if uh, the fourth week in a row will, uh, will make that reality. It's not until Thursday we've got a huge amount of CPI data, industrial production, employment claims, retail sales from the US, that things start to get a bit more exciting in the macroeconomic front. And then Friday, you've got German GDP, Eurozone GDP trade balance from the Eurozone, 
and uh, University of Michigan consumer sentiment, uh, which isn't really that strong. Thursday's your big day for macro events. As ever, keep your eye on the chart forum, make insights part of your late going forward, and join me again tomorrow to find out what happened next.